All right, let's learn how to make an easy day-night cycle in Godot. Start with the scene you want to work with. You did already make one, right? Right-click on the main node and add a directional light as a child. Move it up by dragging on the green arrow. It really doesn't matter how high you go. Then in the inspector on the right, click on the shadow tab and enable shadows. Then right-click on directional light and add an animation player as a child. Click on the animation button and create a new animation. We have to give it a name, so I'm going to call it Sun Rotate. Next, change the length of the animation to 12 seconds. Then make sure that this blue slider is at frame 0 of the animation. Click on directional light and under transform, change its X rotation to minus 90. Then click on the key icon and press create to create the first frame of the animation. This is how the scene is going to be lit when it's high noon. Then we need to rotate the light 360 degrees to simulate a full day. And to do that, all you have to do is move the blue slider to the last frame of the animation and change the X rotation to 270. Click the key icon again so that the light does a complete revolution during the animation. If we move the slider to the 3 second mark, we'll see that the light is pointed horizontally to the right, which is like when the sun is right at the horizon line. However, if you move the slider over to the 5 second mark, which is supposed to be in the middle of the night, you can still see the directional light lighting a part of the scene. To fix this, we'll have to turn off the light once it goes below the horizon, and to do that, we're going to move the blue slider to the first frame, click on the light tab in the inspector, Press the key button next to energy and click create. Then move the slider over to the 3 second mark, change energy to 0 and press the key again. We're going to keep the light off until the 9 second mark when the sun is just about to rise and then we'll press the key once again. Then all you have to do is click this button to auto start the animation and click this button to loop the animation. Now you have a daytime cycle and all we need to do is change the color of the sky to match. Right click on the main node and add a world environment node as a child. Click on empty in the inspector and select new environment. Click on environment and under the background tab, change the mode to custom color. By default, it'll make the sky pitch black. Right click on the world environment node and add an animation player as a child. Create a new animation and I'm going to call it sky color. Again, change the animation length to 12 seconds, then click on color and change the color of the sky to the color you want it to be when it's high noon. I went with a nice light blue color. Press the key icon and then press create to create the first frame of the animation. If you go back to the directional light animation player and go to the 6 second mark, this is when the night is at its darkest. Click on the world environment animation player again. Make sure you're at the 6 second mark. Click on the world environment node and change the sky to the darkest color you want it to go. I decided to go with this deep blue color. Anyways, click the key icon one more time. Now the sky will transition from a daytime color to a nighttime color. And you can play around with this and add more transitional colors if you want, but for this demo we're just going to keep it simple. Anyways, let's slide over to the first frame and you'll notice that the scene has this unnatural looking black shadow over everything. That's mainly because the directional light is still off, but you don't have to worry about that, it'll fix itself the next time you play the animation. But also it's happening because even though the sky is blue, it's not actually emitting any light at the moment. In real life, the sky will cast a slightly blue tint over everything, and so let's do that for our scene. First, click on the blue sky color and copy this value at the bottom right. Then click on the ambient light tab, click on color and paste what we just copied into the corresponding box so that the ambient light color and the sky color are the same. Press the key icon and press create. Then we'll slide over to the last frame and do the exact same thing for the nighttime color as well. And that's about it. If however you find that your scene is a little too dark at night, we can brighten things up a bit by first sliding over to the first frame, then under tone map press the key icon next to exposure, and then slide over to the end of the animation, increase the exposure a bit, and then click the key icon one last time. Make sure to enable the auto start button as well as the loop button and you should be done. Run the game and now you have a scene that cycles between daytime and nighttime. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, links to my discord and twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.